Located in the heart of Midtown Manhattan for nearly 80 years, Kaufman's is New York's destination for all things military surplus. It's in the heart of the theater district, so it's no wonder why Broadway and New York's film industry has turned to Kaufman's to supply them with authentic gear for film and stage. When I moved to New York, it's one of the first shops I came to dig through. Hey Jim, how are you? Hi Jeff, welcome. Thanks for having me. For sure, thanks for coming. Of course, and, and Jim, when you Google Army surplus in Manhattan, there's this photo of Kaufman's that comes up with these two cannons. Where are they? Well, they're in the Cannon Hospital. <laughs> we, we hope to have them back by, uh, by April, so we can have our 80th anniversary. Now, your family has been in the Army surplus business for a very long time. And when did the family open the Midtown location? My grandfather opened up a store across the street, and then in 1946, my parents moved the store here. We, of course, think of Army Surplus as being the clothing that we wear, the jackets, the shirting, but it's also the little things. Oh, there's a whole bunch of that stuff. I'd love to see some of this. Sure, let me show you. Come with me. Jim, what's, what's amazing is that, you know, there's stuff you need and there's stuff you really need, right? And we have here, of course, field issue stuff. toilet paper. This is World War II issue. Yep, these are brand new. They're unissued. You can handle them. If you had to go, you had it right in your back pocket, I guess. Food was really important and what's cool is that people probably seeing this think this is brown sugar but it's not these are actual uh these are the real mccoy these are p38 can openers in the original government packaging these are amazing so prior to vietnam a ration came in a can like this Absolutely. in fact here is uh, a cracker candy can That's right. and you would use um the opener itself here and then we moved into a more traditional pack that's right field issue toilet paper field issue can opener what's in the tin can well, they're, they're British Army World War II issue goggles. They were called motorcycle dispatcher goggles. That's amazing. These are dated 1941. Beautiful, these are essentially new. The long box, Jim, what do we got in here? These are a brand new unissued US Army World War II ribbons. So Jim, I don't know much about bars, but I know these are supposed to be viewed in a specific way. Well, yeah, sure. This is um, it's supposed to be viewed like this, so that the, the blue is on the viewer's left. So this represents the United States of America fighting Italy and Nazi Germany. And the green represents the fields of Europe, and the brown represents the fields of Africa. So every American serviceman who fought in Europe during World War II would have been awarded one of these. Got it. What do we have here? These are genuine, unissued U.S. Army World War II issue boxer shorts. But these were made in November of 44. Um, when we think of surplus, we tend to think of the olive uh, drab color, the 107 as they say. This is more khaki. Yeah, this was phased out on uh, D-Day as a matter of fact. That was the cutoff. Got it. So prior to D-Day, the U.S. Army wore the khaki color. This shade, yes. Cold War era jacket. This is from 83. Alpha contract. Kaufman's has a long history with film and stage in New York City. You guys have been supplying Broadway uh, in the film industry for some time. What do we have here? This is an original field jacket from 1965. This is an alpha product. The, the M65. That's right, the classic. So this yeah. is the real McCoy. And of course, we can date these by looking at the tag. This one has a DSA label showing contract year 1969. Many people don't realize that Kaufman supplied the original jacket for a taxi driver. So we have Taxi driver here, but I know you got SNL here. Yeah, Saturday Night Live just called up the other night and they requested these two garments. We, uh, we supply these boots to the Lion King ever, oh, cool. ever since his first performance. Every hyena has been wearing these boots. <laughs> Hyenas in, in military boots, amazing. The best part about surplus is that just not, it's not just the US, right? We've got a variety of things here. Um, this is Dutch camo, very popular in the Heist and Body office. Uh, Swiss camo, Austrian Defense Force patch, not to be confused with German uh, patchwork. This I've never seen before. Jim. This is a US Army insect jacket. They're issued to an American soldier in the jungle. Got it. And this was used, uh, Elle magazine featured Beyonce in a, in a spread in 2006 wearing this. Oh, cool. This one's dated 1979 and Beyonce approved this is also quite special. Yeah, these are great. This is... These are called Stoker shirts. These are from the British Navy. This is from World War II. Oh, wow. And so these were worn by British sailors in the engine room where it's so hot, they, they would work bare-chested. In case they backed up against the boiler, 
mosquito boiler room but Jim I'm a sucker for snow camo and this thing looks just brand new they are they are these are gems this is a genuine US Army snow camouflage parka shop so cool try this one out. And again, it's, it's an oversized, this is a small, but it's an oversized fit, of course, because it's supposed to go over That's right. a traditional um, combat, uniform. combat uniform. We can see where, you know, modern fashion takes hints from, from military with a garment like this. So cool. Now, is this part of your archive collection? Or do you have well, this one is, yes. Do you have some of these to sell? We have a few, yes. Okay. We, we can get you one if you like. I like it. I think I'm gonna take this with me. All right, Jim, I'm gonna bring these back. All right. Say, Jeff, there's one other item I'd like to show you. Cool. This is Alpha's newest garment. Now this N3B parka looks a little different than most. It's thermal sensitive. Got it, so it changes color uh, based on temperature. That's right, and it'll be an exclusive item at Calfoot. Excellent. Jim, thank you. Jeff, thanks very much for coming.